So how many do we have now? Eight. Here you go. Never enough. It's never enough. <laughs> Always need to have the... Yeah, so here you go. Here's the selection. We're going to go through it. I had a couple of comments about where I was finding my leather jacket, where it was from, uh, which brand I normally go for, and which one has, has the best fit. Perform that sort of biker style up to something more classic, I would say, and something you can wear even with a shirt or dressed up with like trousers, suit trousers or chinos uh, and look quite smart and elegant. So the one you see on the left, on your left, is actually one of my go-to jackets for winter. It's fully lined with sheepskin uh, in that brown color. So from, you know, it's not just some of the jackets, some of the brand I know more like high street brand will have a shirling jacket that they will call shirling biker jacket, but they actually only have either the collar, the collar or, you know, slightly in the inside, but not actually the full body of the jacket is completely covered with like sheepskin. Plus really nice leather from the outside, great detail. You can see it from the zips as well, the black zip, black on black, I really like this style. Um, everything is pure perfection. Um, that's a jacket that I bought from Burberry Prossum. Uh, they probably don't do it anymore. Burberry always have one of the most amazing selection of leather jackets from previously what they had, Burberry Bridge, which is that one here, slightly more washed leather, uh, to Burberry London. That's a Burberry London, the smarter version that you can wear with uh, a suit to the more aviator style, Top Gun style, but that one is Burberry Possum. So you, here you can have actually an example of three different types of leather jacket from three of the sub brands from Burberry, which I know they don't really do anymore, but they still do really, really nice leather jackets. So for leather jackets, definitely one of my go-to brand, Burberry. You will probably not realize that two of those jackets with Again, we're talking about real leather jacket. Not, uh, it's actually from H&M. Uh, it was a special edition. And the number four from the left is my absolute favorite that I wear pretty much all the time. Uh, you've probably seen, if you follow me on Instagram, a couple of pictures wearing that uh, jacket, either when I'm traveling to LA, to, you know, I was wearing it in Miami, in, like basically in, in any sort of destination, it's a go-to jacket that doesn't take that much space gives you a great look and that you can easily pair with black jeans or chinos or even white pants during summer and um, I think even with suit pants. So that's a good option. Um, so number two and number four from H&M, worth checking out. I think price-wise they're around like 200 to 240 pounds, which for a full leather jacket is still a really good price, knowing that the quality and believe me, people from the industry, actually in the, the fashion luxury world, they all thought that those jackets are from Acne or Black Denim. So pieces that are in store right now around 1,000 to 1,500 pounds, but it's actually 150 to 200 pounds. So really worth checking out. The one, the third one from uh, the right is actually more like a bomber sort of varsity jacket. If the wool on the front and the leather on the sleeves. Uh, I think that's quite a statement piece that any guy should own. It gives this sort of, you know, American uh, baseball varsity sort of vibe, uh, but all black is still kind of chic. You can go out, with, you know, you can go out with that. Just wear a t-shirt, black jeans and some boots and you're gonna look really cool. That's another one. I forgot this one. If you haven't seen it, that's actually the RT version. So this one is, personalized by myself. So vintage jacket, bought in Notting Hill in the market and hand painted, personalized. Where you can have your own names, initials on the side and a bit of like pop art going on here. So that's also an option to keep in mind. So let's pop that one in, in the selection. The cut is really nice. The leather is not as great, probably has aged a bit, uh, a bit more than the other one. Uh, but what I like about, about that jacket, I literally bought that jacket on uh, you know, Notting Hill uh, vintage market and decided just the whole purpose was to paint on it and do something more personal, personalized. So if you guys ever want to personalize your own jacket, feel free to message me, put a comment below.
Yeah, that I, I always, as you can see, they're all pretty much open. I don't think, yeah, they're actually all open. I always tend to keep the zips open. Uh, leather jacket in general tend to be quite tight towards the cuffs, so I, and I think, you know, as a standing touch, I like keeping them open. Um, you can wear, and you will see after, the, all of those jacket closed tight, especially um, the one on the left, is the one I was wearing when we shot and did that whole video for Overfinch. Um, it's also one of the videos that you might have seen on YouTube or on my Instagram. Uh, and that's the, the jacket I was wearing during the whole shoot. And I was most of the time, you know, you probably didn't realize, but we shot that video, I think, in March, early March, and it was still zero to like minus two degrees, especially in the countryside. And you know, you had to keep it closed and that jacket kept me really warm. So you can go really low in temperature, still wear a leather jacket. So it's not something just for spring, summer, it's something you can wear also during winter. And uh, it still look really cool, especially when it's closed, you will see with the zips. Uh, otherwise, I tend to wear them most of the time, to be honest, open with a t-shirt underneath, so like playing with layers. So um, black t-shirt or white t-shirt, a jean shirt on top and then the jacket and I think you know it's quite a cool casual outfit and it's perfect to go out it's perfect for your date night and um, yeah another option might be and we're gonna see more in detail after the one the second one from the right I know it's confusing there's too much too many jacket but second one on the right where that one is you will see the cut is much more like refined and tailored, uh, slightly more elegant. The leather is very soft and um, clean, I would say. And that's something you can wear with like suit trousers. So, you know, you at work, you're wearing a suit, you have a, a gray suit with you, you have a dinner, you want to look cool, just leave the blazer at the office, throw that jacket on. Uh, even on top of your white shirt and you're gonna look cool and can, it's gonna give you a total different look. Even still wearing your double monks or wearing your boots, just put that leather jacket on and it's gonna fit perfectly with your suit.